spring just before shift change, approximately a quarter after seven uh, for a fire in the structure. Uh, it originated in a bedroom. Uh, it's under investigation as to the cause at this time. All the occupants were able to get out, uh, though there was some uh, uh, personal injury to uh, burns and uh, smoke inhalation. Uh, the crew that arrived on scene, uh, they met uh, uh, heavy smoke and uh, flames in the inside, so they attacked from the outside, uh, through the window into the fire room, knocked it down. Uh, they set up the uh, ventilation and uh, went inside and extinguished the fire from there. Uh, it was pretty much routine from there as far as just ensuring that fire was out uh, throughout the, the structure and, and contained. Um, and we were starting to do more uh, mop prep procedures when well, we noticed uh, some smoke coming from the roof area. Uh, the design of the structure, at some point, uh, an owner had put on a second roof over top of the first roof and the fire got inside there and uh, we had a great deal of difficulty containing that. Uh, eventually we were able to, with the use of um, crews uh, through and the aerial ladder uh, to cut holes in the roof and, uh, and put uh, water and uh, foam water solution in through there and through the attic access inside the structure. Uh, eventually we got it out uh, by peeling off a lot of the roof, the second roof structure. And uh, so we've just ensured that it's out now. And uh, so the inspector's on scene, he's in charge and uh, he's doing his investigation.